Hi, it's Ken from Trails to Ales, and I am surrounded by cans and bottles and growlers because I'm here to talk to you about beer. Not just about enjoying beer, but giving the gift of beer to your craft beer loving friends. I'm going to give you a few ideas of things to consider when you go out to buy some beer as a gift. I'm not going to talk today about specific brands of beer. If you're interested in my thoughts on that, please do add your questions to the comments below and I'll be happy to answer those questions. But today, rather than focus on particular brands, I'd like to talk about just types of beers, things to consider when you're buying beer. One is, do you know what they like? If you do, well that certainly helps you narrow down what you might buy for them. Or do they enjoy IPAs? Perhaps they enjoy sour beers. Maybe they enjoy stouts. But if you don't know, there's still some things you can think about in order to make a good purchase, one that they would appreciate, and one that most importantly may last and still taste fresh when they get around to drinking it. Because the craft beer fan often gets a lot of beer around holiday times, around birthday times, and other gift giving times that they can't get to right away. One of the things to keep in mind is how soon after you give someone the beer are they going to be able to drink the beer. And this has to do with either how much beer they receive at one time or whether you're traveling or they're traveling between the time you give them the beer and they get to consume the beer. Will that beer have a shelf life? That's important and certain beers and certain delivery methods of beer hold up better than others. For example, a can stays fresh longer than a bottle typically because of the way it's bottled and because no light gets into the can. However, a thing to keep in mind is when was the beer canned? Most mini cans show you the date that it was packaged on the bottom of the can. This Death by Coconut from Oscar Blues is almost guaranteed to have the date stamped on the bottom because Oscar Blues is known for doing that and putting nice little messages on there like this one says, Coco, do you love me? So always look at the bottom for a little surprise. If it's not on the can, you may check the can packaging to see if the box says when the beers were canned or when the cans were packaged because some beers are going to hold up longer than others. Darker and beers with higher alcohol tend to hold up longer than others. And you may be saying, what difference does it make? It's beer. You just drink it whenever you get around to it. Well, no, because brewers brew their beer to be enjoyed fresh in most cases. And beer has a tendency to what they call fall off if it stays on the shelf too long, meaning the freshness and the flavors that you were intended to enjoy don't hold up in the can or the bottle. And by the time you get around to drinking it, it doesn't taste like what they intended for it to taste. Brewers will tell you that um, when they brew, the boiling process kills most anything that would hurt you. It's not going to make you sick, it's just not going to taste the way it was intended to taste. But there are beers that are brewed f with the intention of aging or cellaring. Cellaring is another topic and we'll cover that in another video another time. This is a barrel aged beer from Blue Mountain Barrel House and you can see it's in a nicely designed bottle with a caged cork and first off barrel aged the beer was aged to begin with it's intended to, to be able to be aged longer before you enjoy it usually with barrel aged beers the brewer will tell you its story for how long it has aged and perhaps the temperature at which you could cellar it like a wine and when it should be enjoyed if it doesn't say so on the bottle, a lot of times, like in this case, they'll put a stamp on the cork that says best buy or enjoy buy. So if you're looking for something with a good shelf life, consider a barrel aged beer. One thing I want to warn you about is around holiday times, a lot of times you'll see beers that are stamped uh, or branded specifically for holidays. Like in my hand, I have both a gingerbread stout from Hardywood in Virginia and California's Sierra Nevada, California and North Carolina now, Sierra Nevada with their Celebration Ale. Both are popular beers that come out around Christmas and New Year's, but they're very different beers. Sierra Nevada's is a hop forward beer intended to be enjoyed immediately. 
gingerbread stout, which can also be enjoyed immediately, also has a good aging capability because it is a stout higher in alcohol, less hoppy, and can sit on the shelf and be enjoyed months or even a year or more after it's put in the cellar. Something else to consider. So after all this, you may be saying, but what if I'm at a brewery or I want to go to my craft beer fan's favorite brewery and pick up a growler of some of their beer? Because growlers look cool and who doesn't want a cool way to deliver beer? This, is a, this looks like a wonderful way to carry beer around. However, a thing to keep in mind is if you give somebody a growler, once they open it, there's no way to keep the beer fresh. So unless you know they're going to be sharing it with someone, you've just set them up for a 64 ounce session of beer drinking. And I'm sure some of you know people who could handle that, but most people aren't going to sit down for a 64 ounce, uh, 64 ounces of beer at a time. So you may want to consider another option such as, yes, the growlers are cool, but they also can be smaller. So check with the brewery to see if they have smaller sizes with one or two servings in the growler or get them the growlers anyway just don't put beer in it and give them a gift card or a t-shirt or something from the brewery and they can go get the beer on their own. Those are some ideas of things to consider when you're giving beer to a craft beer fan. Just let's go over them again really quick. Know what they like, know how soon they're going to enjoy it after you give it to them, and know when the beer was packaged. If you keep those in mind, you should be able to pick a very nice gift that's going to stand out and be appreciated by your craft beer loving fan. Hey, if you liked this video, let me know by clicking the like button down below. Better yet, get over there and subscribe so you can catch all our videos whenever they come out. Leave me some comments, ask me some questions, or let me know if you had other ideas of things to consider when you're considering buying beer for craft beer fans. Cheers. Thank mm -hmm. you.